In the desert, if you come across a small thing, don't touch it, it can instantly turn you into a pile of bones. The explosion left the man with ringing ears, and when the smoke cleared, he was dumbfounded, his companion's legs were severed by the blast, and his immediate reaction was to call for divine intervention. Unfortunately, as soon as he set foot on the ground, he triggered a landmine, suffering the same fate. If he lifted his foot now, he made the same end as his companion. On the other side, the remaining companion was in excruciating pain, and soon, he would succumb to excessive bleeding. Since the man was also in a precarious situation, he could only encourage his companion to save himself. His companion, using all his strength, opened his backpack and injected himself with a tranquilizer. However, even with that, his wound continued to bleed. In desperation, the man wanted to run over and help, but his companion stopped him. To avoid burdening the man, his companion pointed the gun at his own head, telling him to live on, and then, with a single shot, ended his life. Perhaps, that's what brotherhood is about. The death of his companion left the man grief-stricken, but the most crucial thing now was how he could escape. The man carefully maneuvered his body, then took out a knife and stabbed it into the sand beneath his foot, only to hear a click yes. It was a landmine, unbeknownst to him, a figure was silently observing him from behind. Later, he looked at a radio in the distance, bringing it over might help him call for help. He untied his shoelaces and attached them to a small axe, then used the rifle strap to increase the length of the rope. The man, exerting effort, finally brought the radio closer. Unfortunately, the device was out of power, but luckily, it had a solar charger. Soon enough, he heard a voice from headquarters. The man immediately called for help, but the response dashed his hopes. Headquarters stated that it would take at least 50 hours to reach him, which was essentially a death sentence. Staying still for 50 hours was impossible, but as a soldier, he couldn't easily give up even a glimmer of hope. As so, own, he set the time on his watch, ate a bit of food to replenish his strength. However, he quickly realized a serious problem, he was out of water. In a place like the desert, running out of water is terrifying, and he was about to face an even greater challenge. A gentle breeze blew, and the man turned to see a sandstorm approaching. The man immediately covered his nose and mouth with a scarf, added weight to his backpack to avoid being blown away by the sandstorm. Using the rifle as support with his left hand, and firmly inserting the knife into the sand with his right, he created a stable triangular structure. As the sandstorm approached, he leaned his body to one side, resisting the onslaught of the storm. The man knelt on the ground, resisting the raging wind. Fortunately, the sandstorm didn't last long, and the man ultimately endured it. However, the companion who had been blown up by the explosion was now next to him. He dragged the body to his feet and found some batteries on his companion. However, he quickly realized that the radio had been blown several meters away, meaning he had lost contact with headquarters. Trying to retrieve it was almost impossible for him. Losing patience, the man had been kneeling for over 10 hours. The rescue team's arrival would take a long time, and with no water and no radio, how could he endure? Then, the man fired shots into the sky, hoping someone nearby would hear, but this was the desert, vast and endless. Just as he was preparing to end it all, a turning point occurred. He noticed a black man approaching, walking in a zigzag pattern, seemingly aware of where the landmines were buried. The man asked for help in bringing the radio closer, but the black man ignored him. Instead, he encouraged him to take a brave step forward. After saying this, he turned and walked away, leaving the man furious. Bro, I'm standing on a landmine, asking me to take a step forward, aren't you harming me? Due to prolonged exposure to the sun, the man was severely dehydrated. With no other options, he resorted to drinking his own urine. However, as he took a few steps, he noticed a little girl approaching from a distance. She turned out to be the black man's daughter, walking in the same zigzag pattern as her father. This time, she came to deliver water. If he had known, he wouldn't have drunk his own urine. She handed the man a water bottle, finally replenishing his fluids. Then the man asked the girl to bring the radio, but like her father, she ignored him and ran away. At night, the man looked at a photo of his girlfriend, shedding tears of sorrow. Suddenly, a roar echoed around him. He grabbed a flashlight and saw a wolf. This was trouble. The man immediately shot at the wolf. In panic, the wolf stepped on a landmine, and the man narrowly escaped disaster. The next day, the black man appeared again, repeating the same words, encouraging him to take a brave step. The man still couldn't understand the meaning. Did taking a step forward miraculously change his fate? In the desert, the man guessed the locations of the landmines. To survive, he had to resort to eating scorpions and drinking his urine. Due to prolonged exposure to the sun, he started having hallucinations. He saw his companion, who had been blown up, coming back to life and cheering him on to stay strong. But the man was really reaching his limit. At that moment, he received a call from higher-ups, saying the rescue time might be delayed, asking him to wait a little longer. This news was like a thunderbolt on a sunny day. The man immediately lost confidence. His body began to lean forward slowly. Just when he was in a critical situation, the black man appeared again. He cleaned the man's wounds while recalling his own past. It turned out the black man, 
made a living by defusing landmines and selling them to the military. His legs were blown off while digging a landmine, and now he could only walk with a wooden prosthetic. He told the man to take a brave step, even if it meant losing a leg. If he continued like this, he might not survive. Before leaving, he gave the man something to drink, and the man started having hallucinations again. He saw himself as a child and his mother lying in the hospital on the brink of death. He tried to approach his mother, but as soon as he took a step, he stepped on a landmine. Next, he found himself in a bar, witnessing a bad guy bullying his girlfriend. He wanted to step forward and teach the bully a lesson, but again, he stepped on a landmine, unable to take that crucial step. Suddenly, the sound of the radio brought him back to reality. The rescue team had arrived. This was finally his salvation, but due to the vast desert, they couldn't locate him, so he had to use a signal flare to determine his position. However, the signal flare was a bit far from him. What should he do? At this critical moment, a man had to make a decision, life or limb. After some hesitation, he decided to step forward and grab the signal flare. Summoning his courage, he lifted his foot off the ground, and surprisingly, the landmine didn't explode. Could it be that the landmine was empty? He bent down to check, and it seemed ridiculous. He had been kneeling for three days and three nights, fearing the landmine beneath his foot, and it turned out to be an empty gun. The man laughed at himself. Finally, he fired the signal flare, and the rescue team quickly arrived. The man was successfully rescued. After recovering from his injuries, he left the military. Through this experience, he learned the value of life. In the days that followed, he would live a carefree life with his girlfriend.